When I teach After Effects, I'm often surprised that even some advanced users don't seem to know about the presets that are built into After Effects that you can use to kickstart your project. They're shipped with After Effects, you can use them straight away, and you can adjust them and modify them to suit your project. Now, in After Effects, I've got an empty composition here. Nothing in it at all. But composition is selected. And now I'm going to go over to my Effects and Presets panel. Now, you can get to Animation Presets through here, but you can't see what they are when you go through them. So it's not really very helpful. But if you go to the Panel menu, this little lined arrow with the drop-down, click on that. You can go down to this option here that says Browse Presets. Click on that, and that will open Adobe Bridge, which I already have opened. And it will give you all your presets. So it's taking me immediately to Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, in my case CS5, Support Files, Presets. Now you can buy presets and add them to your preset panel. So I've actually got some of these ones at the top I've purchased. This particular one here is free from videocopilot.net. But most of the other ones here actually ship with After Effects. So let's have a quick look at some of them. I have got, if we go back to After Effects for a second, an empty composition. And I want to start and I want something creative. I want a nice background. Don't know what to choose. Right, let's go to this background folder. Double click. And there are my backgrounds. Well, they're very interesting, you say. But if you single click, just click once on them, over here in the preview panel you will see that they are motion backgrounds. You can click in this other one over here and you'll see that they are all motion backgrounds. If you want to apply it to your project, any one of them, choose it, double click it and it instantly opens up in After Effects. Hit the play button and then you can actually see what's happening. Now if it doesn't go on long enough for you or it stops too early, that one stops about after five seconds, you want to change it, you select the layer and hit the U key on your keyboard once. And you will see that there are some keyframes there. If you want it, in my case it's a 10 second composition, I can draw a marquee round and select those three keyframes, click and drag and drop them to the end. Admittedly it will now go a little bit slower than it would have done originally, but it's still an animated background. However, if you select your layer and open your effects controls up here, you can see all the effects that have been added to that layer to create the background, and you can change them. So for instance, say we don't like this, uh, this medium green in the middle, we can click on there, and we can change it to a red. Nice bright red. Instantly we've changed it. We can change the other one to a blue. We've instantly changed it. And of course, there's all the other things. There's a the fractal noise. You can change the evolution. You can change the animated bits and pieces. If you want to see what is animated and what has been changed in your layer instantly, click it and hit UU very quickly. And then you have everything that has been changed and animated. All your keyframes, the whole lot, they're all there. And you can work on them and change them and do what you want. I'm just going to go back here to my workspace go reset my workspace yes okay so now I'm back so there you go that's how I can bring in a background but let's get rid of this background hit delete because there's more with my composition selected go back to bridge I've got backgrounds but what else have I got go back to my presets and I can scroll up and I've got say shapes double click on shapes and then I have another set of backgrounds in shapes but these are made out of shape layers you can single click on one of those and it will show you what it's like. All these more spidery web look ones. And you can just double click on it. And it will create the shape layer with all the tools and all the effects that have been added. And you can look at all of them. Exactly how it works. See it all the way inside there. The simple way again is select the layer. You, you. It shows you everything that's been done and you can modify it as you want. You've got a motion background. And there are lots more. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I just want to show you that in Premiere Pro, you have lots of things to ship with. Now, in Shapes, for instance, if I go back to Shapes, I have my backgrounds, but I also have my elements. And these, again, are animated. Look at this one. Producing this wonderful ring. If I double-click that, that might be a perfect ring for highlighting some text. Well, I can quickly modify it. Click, drag, make it bigger. 
it's going around one way if I want it to go the other way here's a quick tip select the layer go to layer transform flip horizontally and suddenly it's going the other way delete that so there are a whole bunch of things that you can bring in that start from scratch there's a lots of other shapes I'll let you play with them you can go through them there's no point in me doing all of them but you'll see that the whole load of them that you can actually use including synthetics another series of backgrounds you don't need a layer you don't need anything selected instantly you can start with these and go for it now in my compositions I have got a few others I have got a picture of Bamborough Castle to demonstrate some of the image manipulation ones so select your layer go to bridge and this time we will look at image creative double click on that and I could say choose this color sepia double click on that instantly it produces this wonderful sepia old-fashioned look of Bamborough Castle up in Northumbria beautiful and how much work did I have to do none I just had to double click something to do it so there are plenty of creative bits and pieces you've got the standard ones you've also got special effects so you've got ones you get an image this one has got the card wipe effect if I double click that I now have both of them applied and I also have the card wipe effect I need to drag that through to demonstrate it you can apply a preset on a preset I have a dancing video here of a young lady dancing happily and merrily in the background if I go to my presets and I go to back to my preset folder I might want to choose some of the transition effects double click on transitions and I could have her blurring in so we can have a look at that hit play and she blurs in so that just gives you an idea of all the bits and pieces there are here the final thing I want to show you are the text presets go back to your After Effects project and I have a text composition it just says test text make sure your layer is selected go to your presets and choose text double click and you have got loads of presets wonderful presets I can double click this one that says animate in and I have a whole load of presets and I can just click once and I can see over here exactly what happens I can drop in a character at a time let's double click that one and apply it to our text it is going to be applied where the current time indicator is so my text has disappeared ready to animate hit my spacebar to play and there I haven't had to do anything except find it and if I want to animate out I can go to the place where I want to animate out select the layer again it's important the layer is selected and then I can go back up to text and I can choose animate out double click on that and I can choose for say the words to slowly fade out I can double click on that so now I have my text coming in and then from four seconds my words are slowly fading out and of course hit you 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 can see all the changes that have taken place so that's how you can apply presets do look at the text presets there are loads of them you've not just got the animates in and out you've got 3d animation so the text seems to move in a 3d way looking at all sorts of different 3d looks you've got um, blurs curves and splines you've even got some fairly weird and wacky ones in organics so you've got uh, fish bait wiggling in the water flying flying formation I think that's it yeah flying formation all of these ready to use all you need to do is know where they are double click them and play with them and adjust them as you want well there you go that's how to preview and use and apply the presets in After Effects to make much more creative projects I hope you found this useful my name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching mm -hmm.